think that's gonna be my... Anyways, what's up? My name is Eric Deuce, nice to introduce myself, and today I'm gonna introduce you to making product photography of food and coffee and food and coffee for cafes, uh, cause um, I went around yesterday to all these coffee stores, etc., and I thought it would be good to up our uh, portfolio a little bit already before all the when people want to look at it and they see what you can do. So I'm gonna go to bakery now, get a bit of cake, get a bit of Franzbrötchen, which is like a cinnamony kind of baked good in the north of Germany, or home to the north of Germany. Yeah, and see what I can do with that, and then put it in Lightroom and then in Photoshop to you know. Get the best results because I I'm not very good at this like the restoring so I thought I would just Photoshop that on top. Um, we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna do that today because I need to have a better portfolio and I should have. What is that? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's let's go and get some other stuff. Alright, we've now made it very successfully to my editing station. We're gonna have a look at all these photos and see what they look like. I did have a sneak peek at two or three and I was like, actually, not too bad, Eric, not too bad. So I might not even do that need to do this much editing. I like I like that one that I it was actually just a few, like two or so. Alright, let's just quickly have a look at how I approach the edit. So first I just really go through all of the photos and mark them with a star rating on Lightroom good too bad usually just five if I want to keep them and nothing if I don't want to keep them and then in this case my second step was to go over the photos again with the presets that I already had for different projects from before just to see how the colors behave and the first step I want to see how my eyes see the photo whether or not it's pleasing and then after that I want the color to do the rest and not the color to make up for bad compositioning just add a little bit of flavor to the photo all right then let's go over how I created the preset or color grade however you want to call it for this specific environment here given kind of brown and colorful tones and the dark coffee so it was really important to me that it's kind of popping so that the colors pop but also the contrast etc so the blacks should be a little bit darker and then I still want to have some detail in the shadow so that one comes up a little highlights had to go down because the, the mug was quite bright sometimes and then how I do the color in general it's just really slightly vibrant vibrance up and don't go for the saturation just a little bit of vibrance maybe up to 50 could be a lot but sometimes it works so yeah this is how I went to approach this entire thing and then from there I just took the white balance of the coffee mug just because it's gonna be the same in almost all of the photos so that is an easy fix to just have the same white balance in all of it and then after that I went through all of the photos again editing them individually adding the crop etc usually hitting previous for the preset as I already used the product trial preset on the photos before and then just really adjusted some of the curves or some of the sliders whatever fit best for the photo and yeah that was pretty much it of the edit and it was ready to get it exported all right that is it for the editing now we're just gonna have a look at the edited photos just just take them all in and have a look at them and I think it's really astonishing at first even when I took the photos I really was not happy at all like I was just I just wanted to be done I was like that's not gonna look good and you always have to put it in the computer I have learned a few things for myself however especially that I want to use a few more props and also props differently so that even if it's like different locations you don't have the same book or the same pen all the time this time was okay but next time I want to change that and the second thing that I would really want to change is cleaning the surfaces properly also the plates sometimes I realize that it's still a little bit of sticky stuff on it and just doesn't look entirely clean so this is something that I have to keep in mind for myself I didn't change it for most of these edits now you could do some of it in post-production but I personally think you should get it right on the job and when you're there so that it looks good in the photos and you don't have to tweak too much but yeah that is really what I learned and gained from this for myself I'm pretty happy like I said how these turned out and I would really show them 
to be honest. Yeah, I hope that you enjoy these photos. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did so, please leave a like and a comment down below what you like best, what you would like me to do next. And just in general, how you feel about photography. Just, just let me know. And yeah, thank you so much again. And I hope that you learned something new and that it was worth your time. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my God, you're not telling me that it didn't film at all the entire time. I was moving stuff around and explaining everything and did not record. Oh God, no. Now I just wanted to show you the behind the scenes of what I just did and I was talking so much. Um, and me not being happy with it a lot, really. Um...